Generally, when a person, business, or corporation causes injury to another person by committing a wrongful act, a negligent act, or by default behavior, that injured person is entitled to recover damages from the liable person, business, or corporation. What constitutes a wrongful death is that the person who was injured died as a result of that injury. The person, business, or corporation would still be liable for damages even if the injured person dies. The Wrongful Death Act creates a cause of action that a personal representative may pursue on behalf of the deceased. This cause of action is solely for the benefit of a spouse and or next of kin, if any survive the deceased. In the event that no spouse does survive the deceased, the benefit is solely for the next of kin. The term next of kin refers to the children, if any, of the deceased. If no children exist or survive the deceased, then the definition of next of kin follows a priority list established by law. For example, if the deceased person left no spouse or any children, then the next of kin would be considered any surviving parent, brother, sister, nieces, or nephews. If you've lost a loved one as a result of someone else's negligence, contact the personal injury lawyers at Salvi & Maher, LLC.